one day on my birthday, I went to this nice restaurant called Joey in Metro Vancouver, and I asked the waitress to surprise me. I didn't know what I wanted on the menu, but I knew that I liked surprises and I'm open to new experiences. The waitress refused. She would not surprise me with anything on the menu, and I was a little bit disappointed. But what I've learned since then is that people in general do not like surprises. Now, this was surprising to me because I was somebody who likes surprises. But as a general rule, when you're thinking about your marketing and whether you should um, underpromise and overdeliver, for example, by surprising somebody with something big, I would lean heavily towards uh, managing expectations and telling people up front exactly what they're going to get and delivering on that because that builds trust, that builds credibility in the long term. And you often cannot sustain exceeding people's expectations in the long run, and it may not be profitable to do so. Now, I'd like to give an example. So when I worked as a marketing consultant years ago, I used to think that I would surprise my clients with this grand plan at the end. Okay, I've analyzed everything, I figured it all out, and here it is. Here's the the grand reveal, like the Wizard of Oz opening the curtain to some magical thing. But uh, no, that's that's not the correct approach to take. And since then, I've learned from people, uh, partners at McKinsey, the most prestigious consulting company in the world, people at AT Kearney. And uh, what I've learned is that really what you want to do is <clears throat> tell people up front so that there are no surprises, okay? People people don't generally like to be caught off guard. So in, on the consulting world, what you're doing is you're, you're giving periodic updates, you're working with the client, you're getting them involved in the process, and you can do this on the product side too. So for example, customizations, okay, people have signed up for the product, okay, well, uh, do you prefer this? Or uh, you might ask questions like, what's your experience using this type of product? Are you like a, uh, a one or a two or a three. And then uh, so that the, ultimately the, the onboarding experience, the user interface, everything is progressive. It's not a sudden surprise. It's not a grand reveal. So other ways to apply this concept of not surprising people is just providing a lot of information. And I think product marketers specifically often get a little bit slack with the details. Product marketers should have more details about the product, about uh, the details of the sales process, the kind of stuff that general marketers maybe don't dive into because they're a little more superficial with the advertising and kind of getting people in the door. Well, in, in the product marketing world, you, you kind of got to get into those nitty gritty details so that people know what to expect before they uh, purchase the product or before they talk to the sales team, etc. An example of this that I brought up was this uh, Adobe Partner Program. You can see that they're they're providing details of the benefits of the program. Okay, on-demand learning, instructor-led training, hands-on resources. You scroll down, you get more information about uh, the different badges and some of the features, upcoming webinars. Um, here are the different levels and sort of what's included with those. You see a lot of this when you're dealing with affiliate programs too, right? This is the percentage commission you're going to get. Here's the support you're going to get. Here's, you're going to get 24 hour support if you buy this plan. You're going to get uh, just email support if you buy that plan. So it's not over promising things and it's also not under promising. It's just saying here is what you're going to get when you buy this or when you sign up for that. So you're not surprising people. You're guiding them along a process where they know what they're going to get. And then if you have a strong brand, a strong product, and a well-managed team, you'll be able to deliver consistently on those promises.